Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And today we're going to talk about something that I really haven't seen any information on uh, on YouTube. And uh, I've talked about in the past on the Laser Makers Realms in our live streams where I've said I'm going to send out a flat pack. And sometimes you may not want to send out something to a customer that's completely cut out, but in a mess like this in a package. So today I'm going to show you the meaning of the flat pack for me it just means that a flat piece of wood in a package. Um, and we're going to jump over into Lightburn and I'm going to show you how you can send a project to a customer almost completely cut out, but not quite using the tabs feature in Lightburn. So let's jump over there real quick and get started. So here in Lightburn, you'll see I've got a recent project that I did, and that is, I've only got one piece of it because I don't want this video to be too long. This was two pieces, but I've only got one here for sake of time. So I'm going to send this to a customer. If you look at this tool path here, this is the size of the wood that is on the laser right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut most of this out, 99% of this out, and just leave a couple little tabs where the customer can cut it out with their X-Acto knife. So the way that we do this is this little known icon, icon over here called tabs. And if I activate that, you'll see a visual representation of what it is. The little dots or little spots where Lightburn will not cut this out. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is click on it. When I click on it, it will bring up my most recent used tabs. So these are what I've recently used. Now, if you don't want to have a lot of these tabs in here, you can pass your mouse over one of them and double click and it will go away. And you can do that where, wherever it is that you don't want tabs, just double click. A single click will add a tab. So there we go. And if I click and drag, I can drag this to wherever I want on the project. And what you want to do when you're creating flat packs is you want to try and put your, your tabs in places that are flat where the customer can take their laser knife and cut right through it without being on a curve like you see up here. Now this up here, I have no real way of controlling it not being on a curve because everything in this heart is curved but i don't want to have that many tabs so i'll delete this one over here by double clicking on it and you also don't want to be close to an edge like that so you want to have enough space where they can actually cut it without ruining the project if you put it on the spot down here it might ruin the corner right there so i think that looks good you can add as many as you want but we're not done yet so let's go over to the cuts and layers and double click on this cut layer. And that brings up the cut settings editor. So in here, I'm running this at a very slow speed, 540 millimeters per minute, so that maybe you can see the flashing where it's not cutting. I don't know if you will be able to on camera or not, but that's why I've slowed the speed down. This is two millimeter wood. It should be around 750 millimeters per minute. But um, of course, this is the same, your number of passes. Now you'll see that Lightburn has automatically turned on this switch for tabs and bridges. One thing you don't want to forget is that after you finish doing this, it will also remember this on this red layer for future projects. So you make sure that you come back in here and turn this back off after the project is finished. Or you'll be wondering why aren't why aren't my projects cutting all the way through? I'm going to set my tab size over here at two millimeters. I think the default for Lightburn is uh, three mil, uh, one millimeter. I'm not sure, but you can also do automatic tab generation. I don't want to because it doesn't place them in the spots that I want it in the most appropriate places, but. If I click on that, I can switch over to automatic, uh, but I don't want to, so I'm going to say no. Now, the cut power down here, I've got it set at 5% of the maximum power. So that would be 5%, 5% of 100. If I were at 
eighty percent power, uh, then this would be uh, four percent of the max. It would be four percent of eighty percent. I'm sorry, uh, but I want it to be real low, and I think default for light burn is fifty percent of the max power. I I don't particularly like that. I'll leave it at five, and I want to just make sure that my spacing is two millimeters. You can lower this. I'm leaving it at two millimeters for a reason. Hopefully, you'll be, and I've slowed down the speed, so hopefully you'll be able to see the flash where the laser goes out, where these dots are located. Um, and that's just for purposes of the video. Normally, what I would do is I would set this tab size over here at one, and that is a good size to cut cleanly and easily through the tab for your customer. I'm gonna say okay to that, and we are ready in Lightburn to run this job. Let me switch over to the Lasermatic. Today I'll be running this job on the Lasermatic 30. And I want to make sure my air assist is on. It is. And I'm ready to hit start. So I'll hit start. And we'll run this job. Now, normally for this project, there would be two layers here. But like I said, for the purposes of time, I don't want this video to run too long because this is a very basic, easy function. So um, we're just going to cut out that one layer there. I just saw the flash of the laser. I don't know if you saw that. I'm going to keep an eye on that. And should be another flash coming up. There it is right there was the other flash of the laser. And there should be one here. There's the flash. So you can see where it's skipping those little spots that we told it to and there should be another flash here there it is right there and another one should be coming up there it is right there then there should be another one right about there <laughs> as you can see and there okay so we are just about done with this job there's another one up oh, and here comes one right there i think i missed that one. <laughs> i thought we were done with the job but apparently i was wrong there it is okay so we're finished let's go take a look at what we got I just get rid of some of that noise. All right. So coming back to uh, me over here, <laughs> here's what we wind up with. So here is the finished product. And as you can see, it is cut all the way through. I don't know if you can see my finger behind there. Let me put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't need them all the time, but let me get up close you can see get that camera to focus if it will focus you can see those tabs in there now i don't know why this camera is not focusing there we go so now there you can see the tabs that we did in lightburn and this is ready and this is ready for shipment so uh, all i have to do at this point is take and Put this into my shipping package which should be really easy but of course is going to give me a problem while i'm videotaping because the flap is in the way but you get the idea so anyway you slip it into your into your package and you mail it out like this and when the customer gets it they take their exacto knife and they just cut through those tabs now you, i don't think you can see through it I can see through it looking at it from here, uh, but you can't. But uh, maybe if I get real close, you can see that it's cut through. Now nah, you can't. Never mind. But anyway, um, those couple of tabs will hold this project in place, even if I bend it a little bit. See that? Can you see where it's pulling out right there? 
So the project is still held in place. So it will survive the shipping. Whereas if you ship this already cut out, these pieces right here might break in shipping. Now, this whole thing, I'm flexing it in, in every direction. It's not going to break. So that is the purpose of the tabs. And uh, although I call them flat packs, I don't know. I don't know what uh, other people call them, but that's just what I call them is flat packs. So that uh, pretty much is the whole video today. Uh, hopefully this will help some people that are sending out projects and they might be sending out something delicate like these lines right here that might break in shipping. And hopefully this video will help you have less damage claims. So there you go. Quick and easy video on tabs. I think I am under, uh, I went over 10 minutes. Okay. My goal was to stay under 10 minutes, but I'm at like 11 minutes and 18 seconds now, but that's okay. I think I got my point across. I hope this helps you and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.